His new opening makes my fucking head hurt. Just look at this shit. Oh, another episode from Dante about sexism within the gaming industry. But I know you boys would appreciate this episode, so hang tight. Don't go anywhere. An article, well, an opinion piece from The Mint. Um, the video game industry must rid itself of its rampant sexism. Now, if you Google stuff like this, you're going to see a thousand and one articles in regard to sexism within the game industry. But what do they all have in common? Wait, yeah, this is a thing that happens. W yes. Video games are weirdly, like, solely devoted to, like, the male power fantasy thing. So, yeah, women are sexual objects in 99% of cases. It's only very recently in games' existence that we have seen, like, more women being, like, the main character and, like, their gender not being a big deal. It was... Like, go back and play a lot of games, like, back in the 90s and even the early, like, 2000s, and you're going to see a pattern with how women are treated, you know, what their roles in video game is. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it right now. It is basically, they are an object to be gathered. You know, they are a trophy to be won, an object to be glared at, that kind of thing. That is, like, their sole purpose in most video games. Like, Princess Peach is obviously the the biggest example of this. Like, she serves no purpose whatsoever except she was captured by the bad guy. The hero must save her because she is woman, and he is man, and that's what men do. You know, she is the stereotypical damsel in distress dumb fuck. She, she rarely gets to do anything in these games. She is literally just, like, the plot MacGuffin, but with boobs. So, yeah, this is, like, not debatable. This is a thing that happens. I mean, ask yourself this. I'm pretty sure the smart ones figured it out already. They all portray females as the victim. The women are always the ones in trouble. Why are you too sexy? Why do you have big boobs? Why do you have small waist? Why do you have a... That's not what they're saying. It's, it's literally that they're being stereotyped. Yeah, most women in games are literally like the big tits, big ass, small waist, fucking blow up doll... Again, even Princess Peach looks like this to a degree. Are you fucking kidding me? Big butt. Why? Why do you look attractive? Why do you look? It's so not about attract. It's their only character trait. That's the problem. It's their only character trait. For fuck's sake. Oh, so good. Why do men find you attractive? Why do men like you? That's. No, he's trying to break the narrative. It literally is. Their only character trait is, oh, she has the boobs. Therefore, you must you must fight and own her like property. That's it. That's the only character trait these people possess. That's the problem. It's not them, that they're attractive. That's the problem. It's that, that it's when it's their only character trait. It's like having some dumb meathead in a video game. He's got one character trait. Me swing club. Yeah, that's stupid too. But it's so fucking prevalent in every fucking video game where this is a thing. It's so fucking stupid. Deep. And then you got fucking games like Mass Effect or Dragon Age where women are portrayed, they can be sexy and yet functional. Like, they're not just idiots standing around waiting to be captured or killed for some plot contrivance. You know, um, I can't remember her first name, but the female shepherd, for instance. Capable as fuck. Same with the female hawk. Same with the female fucking, um, um, Inquisitor and, um, Grey Warden. All capable. They can all do whatever. They can be attractive as well. But it's not their only character trait. Laura Croft. She is attractive. It's not her only character trait. She has other traits that go with that. The problem comes with it. It's literally the only thing a character does is to just stand there and be stared at. That's it. Like, why do you support this stupid, this stupidity that is fucking prevalent? The theme of every single freaking article... Am I wrong? <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, you are objectively wrong. Look, they're even saying it here now. They're, make them resourceful and smart instead of than pawns or victims. That's that's literally what these articles keep saying, and you just ignore it because you're an idiot. Article from the Mint. Um, video game business has a long and troubled history of sexism and gender stereotypes worldwide. A round of skin. He's trying to downplay that this isn't a real thing that's happening. That that's why he's doing the stupid voice. He, he doesn't think it's a thing that happens. 
Very fucking bizarre. Candles and multiple gaming companies you know, are coming from a massive fucking pussy like him. Offered a sad reminder that the industry has a lot more to do to fix its culture and eventually bear his reputation. Now, we're not going to deny this one fact, okay? Yes. I mean, you have actively denied it already. Several times. We can all admit, especially as of recent with Activision Blizzard and so on and so forth, that a lot of scandals within the game industry. We all know this, but however, that's beside the point. No. It is the point itself. An industry that has based a ton of its shit around this one fucking stereotype for most of its games, right? The, its biggest products were all this one fucking thing. Um, man saves woman because she now belongs to him and it is his property. He must win her. Now, Ogle, this, this big ass that we put on screen, has a problem with sexual harassment, rape, and all kinds of horrible things happening within the company being completely ignored by its CEOs. You don't think these two things are connected? Are you that fucking stupid? The point is, when it comes to women in the gaming industry, women in female gaming characters, right? They are always usually attacked by low self-esteem women or men, white knights who are looking to bash female characters to appease women they're trying to get the gene from. <laughs> it's a fact. This article goes on to, uh, of course, berate female character that had the Victoria's Secret body type. Well, I that's not what it's saying. He's oh my god, he's lying so fucking bad, and it's stupid because he's showing the evidence on screen that he's in fact lying. Look, they're even explaining it. It's not about them just being this. It's the fact that's all they're doing. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a fact. This article goes on to, uh, of course, berate female character that had the Victoria's Secret body type. Like, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't do that. While praising... Horizon Zero Dawn. That character is subjectively attractive, right? Like, subjectively, she is attractive. However, she's also capable. She is considered a good protagonist. Who cares? Characters from Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn or Tomb Raider, which, by the way, nothing wrong with these characters, okay? Their characters are built and... Um, designed to fit the game that they're made for. They are. They look perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with them. Oh my god, he's an idiot. No, they weren't. Female characters were literally designed to be like very attractive for the male audience. I'm not kidding. Go look at a lot of the old devs when they talk about this shit. They specifically state a lot of their decisions on female characters were to make them look as sexy as possible so that boys would buy their fucking shit. They will show you original designs for characters that look nothing like the, the um, product they put out. And it was changed because marketing thought it would be easier to get teenage boys to buy the video games if they had big tits and asses. Despite the fact that many times it was considered not practical by the game designer. And... <laughs> Although, I will point out, the biggest fucking talking point here in recent years was Tifa, right? Oh, but in the original she had massive tits. That was because of the game engine being shit. I will point that out. She was originally supposed to be kind of smaller, but because of the game engine being what it was at the time, a lot of women did have to have, like, weird proportions because polygons were a thing. Like, I, I, that's how they did this stuff. For those of you who don't know, we did not always have fancy graphics. We had to work with bits, polygons, 3D rendering was horrible. Go look at some old gameplay from, like, the dark ages of the Sony PS1. <laughs> it's not ideal. Or, worse yet, the um, N64... People swear it holds up today. It does not. It looks like shit. But there's like two or three examples of that being the case with like with Tomb Raider to an extent. Well, not really with Tomb Raider, but with like some games. But for the most part, if you look at the devs when they talk about this, it literally was. We made them look sexy because we were told it would sell better games. Like they would sell more. Okay, any gamer would appreciate the character for this game because they realize there's no way going to have some swimsuit model. I mean, they can, of course, but they, they probably won't. They won't fit the gaming style for Horizon and Tomb Raider, right? We can all agree with that. But the point is, 
there's always an article that is this child 12 because he clearly did not spend any time in the trenches of the 1990s in the gaming scene bashes women wow how sexy they look how badass they look big boobas big booties some waist but my question is why don't they have, have articles in regards to the men let me show you and here you have Kratos from the very popular game God of War. Um, they do. Here's the thing. And it's very stupid to explain. It's not meant to oogle this guy. That's not what's supposed to happen. However, the women in the game are literally, like, thrown onto a fucking bed for you to stare at. Meanwhile, here he is, two swords. He can fight. He can handle himself. Women, not so much. They're objects. They have one personality trait, and it is tits and ass. Something these guys don't seem to understand. Well, he looks okay. He looks buff. He looks sexy. Yeah. He's also got two flaming fucking chaos blades and kills things. I would say this guy needs to calm it the fuck down. He makes the Black Death look lazy. He basically played the game with him shirtless. The entire franchise from one through four. Shirtless. Crazy six pack abs, huge pecs, giant biceps and triceps, but not a single article about the female gaze. But that's okay. Maybe Kratos is not exactly their type. Hold on, I got something for you. Show me the fucking um, video of Kratos getting slapped around by the bad guy and having to be saved by a woman because he's too weak. Show me the scene where this dude happens. Or how about this particular character, huge Hex, shredded, oh, he's just going to keep doing hat. this, isn't he? Is this just going to be the talking point? Yeah. Fuck this guy. Fucking. Is this guy a twink? Would we classify this as a twink, by the way? Or does he have too much muscle to be considered a twink? <laughs> because he looks kind of twinkish. Oh, my God. Do I even want to continue this? Because that's basically the points here. It's like women are always portrayed as like the dumb blow-up doll and men are capable and that's kind of the problem. And then he just ignores that and focuses on well, sexy women, so sexy men, so therefore no problem. And the real Dante. Crap. Because I don't care if somebody accuses me of like taking him out of context at this point because it's just the same argument being made three times in a row here. Don't go anywhere. Look at Chun Li, albeit fully clothed. There are multiple articles in regard to her sex appeal, but she has full clothes on, yet they despise her. Hmm. So it's not about the fact that she's not she's fully clothed, it's the fact that she looks good. She's attractive. She looks amazing. She looks the only article I've ever seen of somebody complaining about um Chun Li was when that one guy got confused about Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. It's the only time I've ever seen her mentioned in this kind of article. Again, it's mainly because this person knows how to handle themselves and is not just some damsel in distress to be rescued constantly. Looks stunning. Men and women would love to either be her or want to be with her. Keep in mind, she's fully clothed. To be the... Literally, every, every article from America had to attack this woman for her sex appeal but as amazing again the only article I found was that one where people kept trying to look underneath her skirt kind of weird why are you doing that but again capable character I don't see many people refer to her as like a blow up doll as her physique is as her body is which is odd because you would think this would be the one case in which it's kind of more applicable uh, applicable than others have you look at her carefully she is fully clothed yes i mean she's not wearing pants but okay you can see her physique yes you can see how stunning her body is but from top to almost a bottom basically she's covered unlike the man that i showed you just now she is fully clothed the problem is she's also it's it's got nothing to do with being clothed or unclothed by the way the gaze is not, well, they are wearing clothes, therefore it's fine. It is literally just, they have positioned this person, this woman, to be very sexually attracted to a man for no reason. And is designed in such a way that it attracts the gaze. That is what this is about. 
Again, I don't hear much in the way of this person. Chun Li, probably. Well, I don't know how you would be attracted to fucking Bayonetta. She's like all stilts and ladders. Very attractive. Or final one, the chick. Just about every quote unquote game journal slash activist hates Bayonetta. Now, yes, supreme sex appeal, beautiful woman, super strong. In fact, you can. I can do it without this guy being sexually attracted, like fucking getting weird and sexual with these fucking pictures right now. All right. I don't need to hear him getting fucking hot and bothered. Put her on the levels of the Devil Boys, Dante, and Virgil. Of course, yeah, I believe they could beat her, but that's not the point. The point is... Also, doesn't her... Isn't, like, her clothes her hair? It Doesn't it come off? I, I remember that being a thing. Yeah, why? That's kind of weird. In her games, other than when she summons some of her demons, right, she is usually fully clothed. But you know what? She has supremely high sex appeal. She... Look, look at this woman. It's all fucking stilts and ladders. How do you find this attractive? You would have to you would have to hit on her outside of a Home Depot just to get able to get up there and talk to her. She's beautiful, she's strong. She's a main protagonist. He takes crap from no one, but somehow the Again, keep in mind I've heard her put forward as a strong female character. Though she has all her clothes on, she is somehow yet she's still somehow able to trigger these activists, these women. I mean, you're pretty triggered yourself. You made a sixteen minute video crying about this. Activist. These and, and you didn't even read the article. So-called game journalist, though she has full clothes on. That's what people don't understand. These they, they bash a lot of these characters. Yes, they have high sex appeal to look good. The bodies are great. They clearly work out or have freaking high metabolism. They look good. The problem is a lot of these journalists or these activists don't like the simple fact that these these characters are attractive. They look beautiful. They're sexy. They're strong. They hate that. Straight up, they do not like that. Now, these characters were maybe 75 pounds heavier and couldn't fit through a door and needs two seats on the airplane. Yes, they would probably love it. Like, yes, it's from this and they're just strong. And how dare you make fun of them? If This guy sounds like he takes up three seats on an airplane. Only was 80 pounds heavier and Benetta was like outside of a house, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. In fact, they would praise her wearing a bodysuit while looking massive. The problem is they're attractive, they're fit, they're beautiful. Men want them. Women want them. Shit, women want to cosplay as them in conventions. Shit. Even the guys. Go for it, I guess. Like to cosplay as them. And that is what they hate. They despise. They don't care if men walk around half naked. They don't care. They don't care. They, 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 as long as. Is he going to attempt to read another article? Uh, yep. Wow. Samus Aran is an iconic Nintendo character, but better writing could make her so much more. Now. Look at, look at Samus. Look at her. Is he just going to ignore the fact that they're talking about how she's written as a character? Amazing body. She's in an entire full-on body suit, right? Badass character. She has years and years. She's probably older than a lot of you guys watching this episode, okay? One of the originals, if you, if you want to be honest, right? But it's not enough for Kotaku. Not enough for these activists and game journalists. She is wearing, she's fully clothed, nothing to even look at. Nothing about her is even shown. From top to bottom, she's covered up. Badass. Fighting robots and aliens. But it's not good enough for them. So what? So. But better writing can make her so much more. They're talking about how she's emotionless, you idiot. They don't care about her looks. When a character shows off boobas, booty, slender waist, that triggers them. Also, when they're covered up from top to bottom, it also triggers them. But the guys could roam around half naked and no one cares. It's all about control. But even with that control, they don't know what the hell they're doing. 
They don't know what they want. But meanwhile, we have this guy. And by this guy, I'm talking about Doom Guy respectfully, okay? Nothing different between Doom Guy and Samus. In fact, if anything, they're very much. Uh. Doom has been criticized for bad writing. In fact, it's considered its fucking, like, worst area. Like, it has bad writing. What are you talking about? Bunch alike. They wear huge bodysuits, are protected. They fight aliens, and one fights demons, and stuff like that. They wear bodysuits to protect, protect them, like I said before. What's the, the difference? They are both badass characters. But one is judged for not being, um, well, sorry, for being emotionless. While the guy... Doom guy has one emotion. Anger. And it's been the critical fucking thing this whole fuck What? Bro, the biggest fucking problem people had with the last two Doom games, the story was shit. Everybody agrees the story is not great. It sucks. But you don't play for the story. You play for the action. That's the point. Meanwhile, Metroid is trying to do a fucking story, which means you kind of have to have a story in there, but their main character is written like an idiot. Like, Metroid, what was it, Zero? I think it is. Was it Metroid Zero? Let me double check. It was Other M for the Wii. She was portrayed as the dumbest motherfucker in that video game. Weird. He's being praised because he's the same thing? What? No, he's actively being criticized for the same reason. Like, he's, he's a one-dimensional character. Me mad, me smash, me rip, me tear. Same with Seamus. She has the same problem. What? So in essence, they don't... Seamus? What is he? Seamus. I don't know what the hell they want. And the funny thing is, guys, the boys, men, will play these games, Dev May Cry, uh, Street Fighter, the whatever game, right? Shirtless men, you name it. And we wouldn't give a damn. We can play, you can play Dove May Cry and Kratos with the characters basically with no shirt on the entire time. And all we care about is how powerful these characters are, what power ups we're going to get, what weapon are we going to get. How so, you care if the character is portrayed strongly in your video game, which is kind of the point of that article you didn't fucking read. How, how we're going to use our, uh, our skills to beat down demons. That's all we care about. And mind you, these guys are shirtless. Sorry, they're shirtless. They don't care. But neither do the journalists and neither do the woke the, the activists. The activists. They don't care about that either. But when a woman is half naked, the problem. When a woman is um, wearing tight clothes but covered up, it's a problem. When a woman is wearing a huge bodysuit, it's a problem. What they want is yeah, for all these chicks <laughs> to gain an extra 100 pounds to be massive or, or to be more tomboyish like the chicks from Horizon which I have nothing against or Tomb Raider which I also have nothing against or the, or the chicks from the new Saints Row which I also have nothing against but they all look funny that's what they want they don't want attractive females I don't want they don't want you the boys to find these women attractive it's about power it's about control and the fact that <sighs> I, I could have been a history channel. I could have gone through military history on my channel. I, I would have had fun. It, it would have been fun. I, I could have done that instead. It would have been more productive with my time. They can't sleep at night knowing that you find these women attractive. They don't care about the. It's just about power. It's about control, guys. And it's insane that these companies bend the knee to these fools. And they will. Because they don't want to be judged. They don't want to get the backlash from these companies. Like, just, guys, just hear me out. If you agree with what I'm saying, if, you, if you're feeling what I'm saying, like, comment, subscribe, share. He's kind of plateaued on that, by the way. He was going up pretty fast. He's kind of like plateaued on his subscriber base. It seems like every time one of these new channels pop up for this stuff, they, they hit a plateau at a lower and lower rate. It used to be about 200,000 or so was the rates back when this stuff first kind of kicked off. And it dropped to about 100,000 and then 50,000. 
and now it appears to be a couple hundred people just don't want to hear this shit anymore because it's it's literally just an idiot who doesn't understand an article and what it's saying, and then they just kind of make shit up. Like, oh, the problem is they're not wearing shirts. No, the problem is that they're portrayed as fucking blow up dolls. It, it's got nothing to do with the fact that they're they're hot looking. You can have a hot, strong female character. It's just that it's their only personality trait is the problem. <laughs> 